October 92, you had somewhat of a crisis of confidence. I'd be interested to hear what that was and how you overcame any doubts in your own abilities. Certainly in 1992, in October 92, I met a patient who was massively burned a 20, as a 29-year-old. And we worked very hard, all of us, and calling all the favours, and you know, he, he got a very severe complication. Uh, at the time, it was on the edge of survival. And it's interesting, we're facing a similar situation right now uh, from massive injuries just a few, a couple of months ago. And so he became paralyzed, his muscles became damaged. And I just thought, after all that effort, after everything we've done, I'm just clearly just not good enough. And so it took a while, a few days, to process the whole kind of, well, how to cope going forwards. One is to walk away and do something else. Or the other way is to try and solve the problems. And that re-engagement, I think, was was very really important for me to understand that I had to develop a coping me mechanism that ensured my emotional, it, not involvement, the drain didn't become something that meant I w it wasn't sustainable going forward because it was very emotionally draining at the time. And so my coping strategy from then forward was always to learn. Always to learn small things, big things, anything. So tomorrow's better. Because unless there's progress, I can't be in this space. Unless there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel, unless there's something tomorrow that can be better for, for someone who's, who's in this situation, who's burnt, then I, don't want, I, don't, I just can't mentally stay in, at the table. And so that was how I re-engaged under those sort of, with myself, that was my, mental, my contract with myself and that sort of remains.